We got down pretty cold last night, but thankfully I don't see any like frost damage or anything. Because t last night's the coldest night we're gonna get for now. It'll be in the 80s again in a few days. So I'm still working on getting this pasture grass right here, like stabilized. And everybody's out except for Samson because he doesn't know how to behave when he's in the rut. <laughs> Nobody wants anything to do with him, but he thinks they do. Look at those little cuties. Can you even believe how big they're getting? You're so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. What little beauties you are. What little beauties. There's my friend I love. You coming to see what Mama might have left when she got milked? I think you already checked. I saw your booty sticking out of the feeder a little bit ago. You pretty girl, you. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, my goodness. It's not good enough to just get petted. You got to be in the lap. Bliss, my big bliss now that's pregnant over there still gets in my lap. And she doesn't know that it hurts. <laughs> You're so cute. Here, I got so cute. Look at that. <laughs> she has to be on me. You're so <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get rid of this one. Oh my gosh, you're going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> you're such a turkey. Where'd she go? There she is. You think her. I checked back um, how long it's been since Bristol had a heat. And it's been over a month, so pretty sure she's bred. I mean, there's always the possibility something doesn't go right, but for now, that's that's what we're saying. It's just a little over a month. I think Bliss might be getting close to two months. I can feel her uterus, so um, I don't feel any babies or anything moving. I just can feel her her uterus uh, is puffy or whatever. It kind of bounces back when you kind of mush on it a little bit. So that'll be fun. Those two are due around the same time. And quite honestly, I can't tell you if Bree's already bred back, which I really hope not. But normally, my, my none of mine have gone back into heat before their kids, especially when they're nursing, like my, my nurse until they wean them, and until they are at least two months old. So I'm really hoping that she hasn't. It's really hard to know when the bucks are in rut if anybody's in heat because they don't care if they're bred in heat or whatever. They uh, chase them around and carry on. That's why I have to put Samson in. And then he carries on with the withers trying to bully them if they get close to what he considers one of his girls. So. Hi, burly boy. He's got to make sure Bl Bristol's not getting something that he wants. My beautiful Bristol. Burly. And the geese are staying in today because of the pasture, just trying to keep it, keep it so that they don't completely eat out the roots. Let it grow a little bit. If it gets too short, they'll just start pulling up the roots instead of just eating the top. So they stay in a day or two and then they go back to pasture, you know, as long as it takes to get it thick and up but they have plenty of food and I 
I come out and actually give them more food as the day goes on. They actually even eat this delicious hay that we get. They love, it's still, it's dry, but it's on the green side and it's coastal and the geese love it too. So they get plenty of that too. It's very peaceful this morning. The garden doesn't look like it got damaged by the cold weather last. My tomatoes have been really strangely small. Now, this has been such a weird year for everything. Hatching, incubating didn't go as normal. Um, everything, just very strange, very strange. Thank the Lord the, the babies are all doing good. The little mammals are all normal. fighting with one another over who's gonna get the best crumbles over there oh my gosh they're so sweet i can't stand it hardly well there's my betty girl my love oh who are you running off bristol oh my goodness betty you stinker she's the queen Bliss and Briar are in the feeder. Isn't he sweet? She's all fuzzed out this morning. Her was chilly last night. You my burly boy. There's still some bits of dried corn down in there he's picking for. saw a few uh, hawks migrating. Uh, not a real thick stream of them. So I don't know, maybe they were just early birds, but I always think that's so cool. Uh, we've seen all kinds of migration. It's so beautiful, especially if you see geese going past. It's, you know, in formation. The hawks just kind of make a big line these babies oh my gosh they are just way too cute the cat's hollering at me he wants me to come he wants me to come give him a can of food <laughs> i told my husband um because he came in late yesterday, he was gone. And so he was gonna feed the dogs last night. Every Everybody else was all taken care of, except for Albert and the dogs, feeding the dogs. And we put the cat in because we have hawks and we have uh, owls and we have, you know, even though we have all the guardian dogs, we still have dangers and I worry because he's white in the dark obviously so then i came out this morning and the cat was out and i don't think my husband shut the cat door <laughs> he might have put put albert in but he forgot to close him in. so thank the lord he showed up this morning yelling at me to come give him a can of food so there's mama what are you doing speak oh they're going to see what See, Betty was over there where the babies are, and she wouldn't let them come see what she was doing. So now she's gone. And Auntie Bristol actually, let me think. Bristol and Bree are related by Mama. So yeah, she's their aunt. And Burley is still working on his little bit down here. My right, Burley. And poor old Samson. I love you dearly, mister, but you drive the girls to drink. You're so pretty, buddy. I think I'll go around 
and open another section so he has more room today. I did, he did come out yesterday. He was out and the, and I just put all the other goats in the other pasture over there and locked them in. So he was out. It's not like he didn't get to run, but I want to water today. My BJ, Burley's pet. Sweet bliss. And little miss, there's my little friend. There she is. You're so sweet. I just really want to keep this one. If I can work it, I'm going to probably keep her. You sweet girl. She's just so darn sweet. And she is so pretty. I just wish she was pulled. Her dispud is really good. There's no, no scurs at all. And it was done, you know, when she was just about five days old, so. Thank you.